All right, well, we are scrambling a little bit today because good news, we got a tip on some bees. Something to sit on, yeah. We actually had a neighbor that came by and introduced herself to us yesterday, and she took a hunch that we might have bees. She saw our animals from the road, <laughs> and she asked us if we happened to have beehives because she just happened to have a hive move into a branch in her yard, and she didn't have a way to get rid of them or move them somewhere else. So she wanted to come by and see if we wanted some more bees. And of course we do, we would love that. But we're scrambling today because we need a beehive. So Eli's over here painting. We're putting together another horizontal hive. We've got two of them right now. This is our aviary hive. Check it out. There's comb there in the back. That's what I supplied. And they are building all of this themselves. Hey, all right, well, we are over here at the start of our garden and greenhouse. And this is the, how the hive is doing over here. It's a way bigger group, and they haven't built up nearly as much as the aviary hive is doing. You can see the honey being formed up. How amazing is that? And we've got the stand right here, so I'm going to move that over so you like can keep painting that right there. Let's have some fun with bees today. There's a lot of colors. I don't know where to How's go. How's the going, Eli? Good. Good. See a lot of colors, only feeling blue. There's a lot of colors, lost within a day. Woo! It is super loud in here. Rain's hitting the roof here. And it's late. It's about 9 o'clock right now at night. And I've got about two to three hours left. I need to get this box done tonight so we can go pick the bees up in the morning. We got our box all done. I've got our base right there. And then I've got our roof that'll go on top of that. All I have left is this over here. I need to make our frames. I'm sorry if it's really loud. It's I can barely hear myself talk. All I need to do is put that all together. It's a couple steps, but it's going to take a couple hours to make, I think it's about 15 of these. And then these frames go right in there. Let's get to work. There are a lot of choices waiting to be made. Too many choices making me afraid. All right, it's getting late, but this is the coolest part of putting together these frames. Check this out. This is some comb that I've got placed in here. I'm going to electrically shock it right here so it will attach itself to the metal wire right down here. Check this out. And now it's attached in here and we've got a couple of these to put in here so we can get the bees off to a great start tomorrow. All right. All right, Becky, it's about 11 p.m. <laughs> Is it worth it getting these bees? I don't know. I hope so. Hope so too. Is it gonna be worth the sweet or what is, is it? Is the juice worth the squeeze? I don't know. That honey's gonna be good though. Yes, it is. All right. Well, good night. We'll see you tomorrow. How's it going, Dolly, today? She's doing good. Good job. Good girl. See you later. We have a bunch of these feathers out here this morning. This is from one of our pearl guineas, and we've got more of them over here in the field. So we definitely lost a pearl guinea. We have two pearls and two purples for a total of four. But they all sleep up in this tree at night. So after our bee collecting today, we got an idea with some electric that we could put around this tree somewhere to keep those birds safe at night. But for now, we've got our beehive all ready. So now we need to get it out into the field so we can bring the bees back to it. All right, we are back on the back corner of our property and we've got the beehive out here. Uh, there's like a, a little pond back here and a lot of vegetation. So we're hoping 
This one we'll just leave pretty much alone to start building up its uh, brood. So now we just need to go get some bees. Check that out. Wow, they just overtook this branch and they're just hanging out here, waiting to go somewhere. Well, all of these bees have moved onto this branch and they're even down on the ground. So I barely need to cut up above this and then I'm just gonna move them right into this swarm box so I can take it home and put them in our beehive. I'm gonna spray a little bit of smoke just to keep them cool during the move, but they're staying pretty calm on there, so don't need to really alarm them. I'm gonna clip right above this. There's two, well, I can go right up here and cut both and then I'll need to catch it so it doesn't drop. It's all right. All right, and then we're gonna move these guys into here. I've got some here on the ground. I'm gonna to try to scoop up. I just want to make sure that we've got the queen in here. Okay, and then I'm going to get the lid on. It's sealed up in the front, so now we can take this home and hopefully some of these bees will follow. There's still some more collecting. I'll take one more branch over. On another branch here. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let's head home. swooping down and we're wondering what they were looking at and we found the guinea laying out here still missing the little rooster though gotta be a raccoon then, right gotta be a raccoon here let me hold the box Later. All right, we've got the beehive home. What are we gonna do next, Eli? Put the bees in our... In the box? Put the bees in our box. All right, let's do it. We do have some that were back at the, at the other house that started to form a cluster on the fence, so I'll go back there and see if I can collect some of those, but as long as we got the queen in here, everybody will stay here. Trying to see if I can find the queen in here. Is there a cluster anywhere? This is side. Looking to see if I see one that's big or has a dot on it. Let me close them up. Yeah, I don't want them leaving. 
Okay, Becky just pointed out to me that they're swarming over here. Maybe the queen got away. No. They want to live on a branch. I got to get the queen in. Let me cut it. Well, we don't know if we have the queen in. I thought I saw the queen in there. And I need to get this branch over. They're really wanting to not be in a hive, apparently. Oh, no. Well, we're not sure if we have the queen in the box yet or not. There's a whole swarm out here. There's just thousands of bees right here. We gotta find where that queen's at. Make sure she gets in the box. So we're gonna watch them for a little bit. See if they start moving in here or if they try to move out. So I think I had found the queen. I am not 100% sure. There are a lot of bees out here. A lot, but there are not as many on the tree. So I may have gotten the queen over here, but there are a lot outside, but they are starting to pour in. So I really like seeing that. We're gonna watch this for a little bit. Make sure that the bees keep going into this box. Becky, do you think she's made it inside? Yeah, it looks like it. They seem to not be clumping down here or anything. They're just kind of moving inside the box. So I think we've got her moved in there. All right, well, we came back to pick our camera up and the bees are doing great. They're flying around quite a bit, but at least they're not swarming, creating a big pile of bees outside to where they're looking to move somewhere. So that tells me they've moved in and I'll check on them over the next couple of days just to make sure they're doing all right, but they're looking really good. All right, let's go take care of our guineas, protect them for All right, we are out here where the guineas have been roosting in this tree. It's a tulip poplar tree that we have on our property. So they consistently sleep in this tree every single night. Um, we had the little roosters roosting up on these branches as well and we lost one of those so the other one is in with our main flock now so now we just have to protect our guineas from being eaten again because we lost one last night so we had this idea that we would run poly wire electric fence around the base of this tree and it's right next to our barn and we have a hard wire system that we are not currently using, that we used at our older house with the main flock. Uh, not a good idea. Not a good idea. I just slide down it. And it just... No, it's not secure at all. What you got there? Stick. Hi. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Eli, did it work? Yes. <laughs> I did it with this to shock me. I told you it would shock you. I'll hold this then. No, I'm not holding it. Crazy. Hold it. Hold it. No. Hold it. I'll wrap you up in it. And then I'll touch it to the tree. Okay, so look at our Jimmy rig of electric fence. It looks kind of funny, but I hope it works. Let's hope it keeps them safe tonight. So what we did is used a fence post and attached it to the tree and then ran a poly wire around and then have the clip here. And then we ran it down and have it attached here. Is there to toy? the underground wire and then drag a trench over here and ran it into the barn with the grounding rod hanging out here. Come on guys, you want to feed Dolly? I have to grab Isaiah. Okay. Here. Here are the peacocks. So, recap on the day. We brought some wild bees home. They survived. We got the queen in, so we made sure that they all went in after that. We just put in the wire for the, the guineas help protect them tonight. They've been doing a really good job roaming around so we really are happy to have them on our farm and want to protect them as much as possible. Dolly, what are you doing? No calf yet. Could be any time in the next month we think. All right guys thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.